My name is James Giddy. I'm a West Australian artist. I was born in South Africa, uh, but raised in Perth. I probably describe my style of painting as impressionist realism or expressionist realism. I sort of focus on subjective painting, but a lot of it revolves around mark making and gesture. I studied art at Curtin University and I was introduced to it at a young age by my grandfather. But yeah, so I guess I was sort of encouraged by my mum to sort of, rather than play video games, pick up a pen and pencil and draw something. So I paint in a lot of regional environments and painting in these sort of rural settings helps inform the colours and textures, compositions and the subjects that I paint. It creates this sort of more complete conversation with my works that are in the city and painting in those environments helps see my work without any background distractions and for what it is, so it helps me improve. I never really thought that I'd be an artist when I was going through school or growing up. It was always encouraged as a hobby and you're always commended on um, for doing well, but nobody I didn't know any artists that did it full time and nobody sort of at school would go to you and say, oh, you could be an artist job, you know. They'd always send you down a path that's going to earn you money or help you support a family because, yeah, it's just something against the grain. But yeah, I fell into the career of being an artist by accident, which is just a series of fortunate events, I guess. <laughs> My biggest motivation to continue and pursue painting and art as a career is probably the lifestyle that comes with it. So doing something that I love uh, and incorporating that aspect of travel and working in different environments and working for different people and introducing something nice into their lives. Working with Web Brown Knees was quite similar to how I'd usually work. Um, so it starts with the design process and sort of flesh that out with a few different options. Um, and then you sort of take it to the next stage and make sure everyone's on the same page. I guess it was a bit more drawn out, but it was still um, of similar sort of principle. The only difference would be ability to choose the texture of the wall as well as the colour and sort of knowing what elements could change and what elements had to stay the same. Um, so that part of it was really nice. So the New York theme was put on the table and I initially just came to the idea of a pigeon. I guess these often caught a bad rap in New York and in Australia um, as the sort of rats of the street, but I think that's part of my sort of practice that I really enjoy is bringing an animal, say like in Australia, the seagull, and giving it a sort of more glorified position than what they usually get. Um, so yeah, the pigeon, I thought, with the purples and greens and blues that come into it and that sort of quirkiness. It would be a really nice sort of contemporary touch to the space and sort of be quite a welcoming and friendly um, addition rather than some of the other options. So when people visit the display home, um, I guess I'd like them to be welcomed by the piece. Um, I'd like it to sort of soften harsh edges um, the plants are sort of there to do that as well. Having a mural of some big pigeons is sort of a little point of difference and quirk. I'd like it to sort of show a bit of humility. Yeah, I guess just bring a bit of joy to people as they come through. Living in West Australia is very influential on my practice. Um, I guess we have so much diversity in our own sort of backyard going down to like the Stirling Ranges, it's always one of the most biodiverse places in the world um, when it comes to sort of wildflowers and sort of flora and fauna as well. And then you go north and there's sort of red dirt and like pristine beaches, tropical sort of climate. You just have everything in your back pocket really and it's just a road trip away so being an artist you sort of have to draw from that, like you can't avoid it, which is really nice. Over the years, I think I've definitely refined my style a lot. Um, working in so many different mediums and on so many different platforms, I've sort of developed a better understanding of light and colour, balance. 
just sort of bring it all together and creating a more dramatic sort of composition or yeah it's just more compelling now my work which I'm, I guess I'm proud of.